So this is called Bushbuck a Treasure Hunt. I have never even heard of this one before, much less played it. Um, there is the globe, and that's all. That's about as much as I know. So this is going to be exciting, I'm sure. Okay, what is our name? Well, I... Clearly, it is Bush Zeal. Um, enter? Oh, there we go. Uh, what level do you wish to play? I don't even know why I'm, I'm giving this any thought. It's, yeah, beginner. Um, is anyone else playing? Uh, well, there's some people watching, but for the sake of this one, I'm going to say no. Do you want... Do you want Pierre to play? Uh, sure. Is he like a computer opponent? Let's go for yes on that. This game will use 16 color graphics. This is very repetitive. I'm not a fan of this music at the moment. That's starting to uh, jar my head already. Is that the eighth time it's loops now? There's a way to disable it. Does it involve cutting both your ears off? Oh! Hang on a moment, I'm just checking if this... It's not an IPF file, it's an ADF, but that was the same problem we had last time. I'm going to leave a save state here. Just to see if I can just... Well, hopefully the ADF file will just bypass all this anyway. Oh, it isn't. Okay, that's fine. So we tried A and B. Well, hang on. Let's see what happens. You did not choose the correct location. <laughs> wow. Incorrect city location caused the program to exit. And I like... I love how programs like crossed over to the other line. There are two versions of the 1987 Amiga. Singapore. One is German, the other American. The American B2000 model is very similar to the A. 500 except for the Buster. The German one is decidedly not. Okay, thanks for dropping the information. And also, thank you very much for subscribing with Prime for two months now. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, I think the one that we use that we're using is the A five hundred on. I think so. I think so. So, um, let's. Good job. I left a safe state there, and we said A and B. So this is just just keep guessing until we get it wrong. Not C. It is D. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be very much geography related. Geography was one of my least favourite subjects. Geography was something I just completely sucked at. I've got no... I I just... Yeah. My brain just, like, goes to one side when geography... Geography, the history was, like, my second worst. I just never enjoyed it at school. Um, your mission is to find the following objects hidden around the globe. Right, maybe we should note this down. Hang on a moment. Okay, so what have we got here? Um, ore. An ore from... How on earth is that pronounced? D... What's that? D-G-H-A-double-J-E. A jar of... Was that Magia Paprika? Ah, oh, that... 
that well-known Maya, Maya Paprika. Uh, Fleur de Lis Flag. How was how's that pronounced? A cowie shell? And then the other one is just uh what's that booty? Is that how it's pronounced? And then we'll turn them to Victoria. I have a feeling we're not gonna do any of this, but we'll note it down just in case. Uh Victoria Seychelles, okay. There we go. And yeah, also Sigaborn, whenever you want, uh, feel free to add in an, a game to the wheel. Doesn't have to be today, can be any time. Okay, so we're using the mouse here. I'm guessing the magnifying glass is noting our location. I think, oh, there we go. Oh, goodness, what's going on now? Now it's even more complex. Wait, did, you, did that just change the interface? Hang on. So we click on it again. Mouse is a bit sensitive. And the plane is uh, travel. Okie dokie. Also, I'm glad that the music has stopped working. Okay, so what have we got here? Going to uh, Moroni, Moromni Comoros, Port Louis, Mag I can't pronounce any of these names. Oh my god, uh, Madagascar I can pronounce, but and I'm not, I'm not sure. Some of the N's kind of look a little bit like the M. So An Antananarivo, Antananarivo. Should we just go to Madagascar? Let's see what happens. Oh, now we've got music. Oh, and we've got some animation at the bottom, if you could call it animation. Oh, I noticed the tickets went down as well. That was on 60 before, now it's on 59. So I'm guessing you can only do that a limited number of times. No, I was going to say, this music's fine. I don't mind this one. Um, here's a clue to help you find the Fleur de Lis flag. The people in this part of Canada retain their French heritage with great pride. Uh, that's a clue, apparently. Oh, this one's obviously a port. Okay. Press any key to continue. Oh, it's give us giving us some info as well. Uh, what's that demo? Oh, okay. Is he very knowledgeable when it comes to this sort of stuff? Uh, we've got here this island country, 250 miles off the coast of Africa, hosted some American pirates. In addition to Arabs, Portuguese, and French, Zuma, the Friday market in Tana. Why is that underlined? Is that like a clue or something? Uh, as the capital is called, oh, as the capital is called, it's the second largest in the world. During the Badamahana, Badamahana locals exhume dead relatives to rewrap them. Hmm. I see. Oh, I see, because it's in the French. Right, okay. It takes a while to... I mean... There's... Oh, we're going somewhere else. Oh, is this someone... Is this Pierre? This might be our, the CPU opposition, I think. Is there hot sauce? Uh, so here we go. Pierre is in... Oh, okay, I'm glad we put in uh, Pierre into the mix, just to add a bit of life to this game. Here's a clue to help you find the cowrie shell. You find cowrie shells in the island country southwest of India. I mean, that's not so much a clue as it is like a... Here's a direction. Uh, what have we got here? 
on the horn there's a lot of reading to this one on the horn of africa this indian ocean port was once a wealthy trade center with persia india china and portugal it was called the land of punt and was known for its frankincense and uh was that mer still is and mer still is see the Magadishu Cathedral and cam Camel Market. Why did that make me laugh? But I suppose that's the thing, yeah. A market for camels. Don't swim in Shark's Bay. Okay, okay. So let's uh, scout around the options for a bit, shall we? Actually, you know what? Shall we leave a safe state just in case we run into more problems? There we go. Okay, so. Oh, okay, that's basically the help screen. Uh, turn city symbols on and off. Pointer used to show city names and data. Beginner level indicates how close you are to an item. So right is, white is close and blue is far. Oh, we scored five points. Somehow we scored points in this. Okay, and yeah, as, as we saw with the plane, use this to choose your destination. Oh, there we go, bottom right, indicates the number of tickets you have left. I don't know if there's any, if there's a way to sort of obtain tickets, probably not. I reckon that's how much you have for the whole game. Oh, well, and hotkeys as well. I'm always going, oh, <laughs> there's a boss key, I love that. Because, yeah, I could really see someone playing this and then the boss comes in. It's like, oh, no, better get back to work. Okay. Ah, that makes things a little bit uh, more manageable, having the cursor displayed. Right, so when you got the cursor on the display bar, it sort of cycles between that. Okay, okay. What did the key do? Oh, okay, that's the legend, right. Okay, so the little target is our whereabouts. Desert, mountains, and Arctic. Okay, so what is our next? Actually, what did the, what does the scroll do or the parchment? Oh, okay. So we found a clue. Oh, yeah, that was with, on our last go. We have no items on board. I have a feeling it will stay like that. I don't even know what half these things are. Like, what on earth is a booty? B U T I. And all from, like, all from a DJ. I was like, what on earth? That, like, to me, that just looks like, like, say, you know how you get angry, you just sort of, like, smack the keyboard? Those would be, like, the letters that will come out on word on a word processor. Oh, press escape to continue game. Shall be done. Okay. What is our next destination? Yeah, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. That's, uh, yeah, I was going to say that's quite a clever sentence because it uses every letter from the alphabet, doesn't it? But then again, so does the alphabet. Um, what shall we go to now? Okay, go. That's. The, I know we need to return there, so we don't need to. Uh, we need to go back there once we found the items. So let's check out Malaysia.
I do like how the music just, okay, travel time is over, so music, music has stopped. So there we go. We are now in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This capital was founded by Chinese tin miners where the Klan and Gombak rivers meet. In fact, Kuala Lumpur means muddy estuary. What does muddy estuary mean, even mean? The train station here looks like a mosque, but travel on to the real Finn, the National Mosque, in the nearby Batu Caves, monkeys beg for peanuts. Um, I think you'll find they do that anyway, don't they? Is it specifically peanuts? That'd be quite weird if that were the case. Okay, so Pierre is traveling to Djibouti, also in Djibouti. Oh, so you do get tickets. You f okay. Why don't we get any tickets? Why does Pierre get all the luck? Jabby get. So, okay, here we go. Once, uh, once French Somaliland, uh, some also refer to this country as, <laughs> oh wow, as Valley of Hell. It's hot and dry. The Arab and French city Djibouti is a vital red, uh, red Sea port en route to the Suez Canal. The main mosque is in the city square. Lake Assel, 830 feet below sea level, is the world's second lowest point. Yeah, he, yeah the thing is, Pierre got the tickets, not us. Oh, wait, no, we got the tickets. Oh, okay. How did we get tickets? Unless this is... Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is Pierre who's got the ticket. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, he's got the tickets, not us. That, that would be weird if he went on a location and we benefited from it. Uh, Sigo, welcome back. Are you having... F <laughs> well, I hope you're having more fun than I am. I'm trying to read words that I've never even knew existed before. Uh, would be a semi-interesting fact finding a mission to discover how many of these details have changed well i was going to say this game came out in 91 so i imagine quite a lot of it has changed was it now just like uh yeah 30 years christ over 30. so singapore city also in singapore Jakarta from Indonesia. How is that even pronounced? Uh, Phnom, Phnom, uh, Penth, Penth? Is that a K or an H? Cambodia or Bangkok? Let's go to Bangkok, Thailand, just because I know. Is it Phnom Penh? Phnom Penh. Let's go to Thailand. Just, just to see, I'm, I'm just kind of fascinated by all the, um, yeah, information it's given us now. It is, it does seem like a very interesting and highly informative game. It's probably better for other people, not me though. Other people that are not me. So there we go. We're in Bangkok, Thailand. We're supposed to be finding items, but uh, I think we're just using this as an excuse to like locate different areas. Thailand was Siam until 1939. The city of angels, Bangkok, offers such sites as uh, Rot Aron, the Temple of Dawn, the Red Cross, Snake Farm, so it sounds like a dangerous farm, and the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. Uh, north, where Thailand, Burma, and Laos meet, is the Elephant Training School. Don't touch the head of Thais. I wonder why. Is that like a blasphemous thing to do? An Elephant Training School sounds awesome. Okay, so he's going to Addis Ababa, Ababa in Ethiopia. Oh, it's very cloudy. Oh, 
I was, hope, I was hoping the plane would crash. <laughs> yeah, his plane crashed and he died immediately. Oh wait, didn't we just um, visit this place? Maybe we're supposed to click on the magnifying glass when we reach the location? I'm not sure. Let's find out. No, sorry, beg your pardon, that just changes the um, display, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that was the clue that we attained. The people in this part of Canada retain their French heritage with great pride. That's a clue, apparently. Well, I guess it means go to a location where th those kind of people exist, but we we'll know where that would be. I'm guessing that if you go into like the correct location, it will tell you the, you know, it would immediately present you with an item. Are you saying Quebec? Oh, we've got different music here. Still alive, hello, how you doing? Which one of these areas, which one of these five areas shall we go? Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I don't think we've been here before. Let's check this place out. It makes me wonder how many different songs they got on this one as well. Uh, what we got here? Uh, tiny Ulrich Brunei is located in the island of Borneo and surrounded by Malaysia. The Sultan is the 29th in a hereditary line dating back 500 years, annual rainfall can reach 1,450 inches. Yeah, that's quite dangerous. In this capital, see the Great Mosque on the Bunurai River and the Sultan's Palace. Maybe, should we just pretend that we're Pierre? <laughs> Yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. Oh, he's picked up a clue. I still can't get over that name, the Digiaria. The Digia or something. A brightly coloured water taxi on this European island of Tunisia. Ah, uh, okay, what did it say about uh, Addis Ababa? Um, t -t -t -t. Okay, so the capital Addis Ababa means a new flower. See the Lion of Judah statue. In Ethiopia is Africa's oldest independent country. There are 833 types of, 833 types of birds here. I mean, what's that the old saying? You learn something new every day. I mean, eight hundred. That's that's a new thing we've learned. I mean, I'm sure it's different now. You know, twenty twenty four. But eight hundred and thirty three types of birds, as well as perch in the Blue Nile, weighing up to two hundred pounds. I mean, what do we get? Sparrows, pigeon, seagull. We get all the annoying ones, don't? Oh, didn't? I didn't give me time to finish reading. But those are the birds that we get. It's like, that's it. It's not, yeah, that's all you're having. Occasionally blackbirds, if you're lucky. Maybe magpies, which is deemed un unlucky for some. And that was folklore. Oh, that's a long distance.
Okay, so it's now, was that 635 speeches in the British Isles? Okay. Oh, stop this putting me off with the music. Don't know what so, Oh, storm warned in. Oh, wait. Storm warning, thunderheads boiling just ahead. I feel... I think, didn't we, didn't we just come back from there, though? So it's probably pointless. I almost feel tempted... Oh, what's this? Hazardous tropical storm imminent. Anticipate... Oh, that... I mean... That just sounds like we should do that. Hazardous tropical storms imminent. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> if you get out of the tennis racket, I'll show you this and that number somewhat, yeah. Go on then, let's risk it. Risk it for a place that hasn't got any of those items that we need. I predict we see a rest in peace grave with our name on it. Oh, look at that. Bit of lightning there. It was a rough ride, but we made it. Oh, nothing bad happened. Uh, the Philippines are a 7,000 island... Um, what's that? Archipelago? Archipelago? On the edge of the South China Sea. 50 minutes from the capital uh, Manila via hydrofoil is the Corregidor... Memorial, I think I botched that one, uh, honoring the last stand of Filipino and American forces during World War II. North and Baguio are loin clothed natives. Yeah, is it Archie or Archipelago? Any key? Okay, so, okay, looking forward to seeing these loin clothed natives, maybe? I don't think you get to see them. That actually would be cool if you could interact with some characters from different countries. I guess that will make the game a bit too complicated, though. Oh, he's got another clue. Here's a clue to help you find the booty. To see hippos in this country, you need to travel southwest to the coastal, the coastal lands. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's a hard sea, sorry, Arcopi Lagalo, really. Um, okay, so we've got here Kenya bans hunting, but you can take photo safaris out of this out of this city of flowers to some thirty seven protected wildlife areas. Must see here's the imposing Kenyatta International Conference Center, Snake Park, Steam Trains, and a two million year old skull. Doesn't say what kind of skull, but okay, a two million year old skull. In Mombasa on the coast is Fort <laughs> Is Fort Jesus or Fort Jesus? I, I really hope it's Fort Jesus. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I'm 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 an asshole for finding that funny. Okay. So there's heavy snows. Oh, Tokyo in Japan. Can we? Yeah, I just want to visit this place. Because I've, I've I've always wanted to go to Japan. So this is as close, I guess, as I'm going to get to that dream. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's perfect. I. If, if there was a place like that, I would definitely order a takeaway from that. Absolutely. Might take a little while for it to uh, arrive. Uh, good question. Am I still planning on going one day? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I know uh, my younger brother was scheduled to go to Japan, but this was like years ago. And that was unfortunately when COVID hit. Uh, here we go. Uh, Japan is an... Oh, it's this one again. Uh, archipelago, archipelago composed of four main islands of thousands of small islands. Its capital, T Tokyo, on Honshu, is just 70 miles from Mount Fuji, one of the world's most beautiful mountains. There is a Disneyland here. I actually did not know that. 
but fair enough. There is a Disneyland there, as well as a zoo with giant pandas and a five-story pagoda built in 1639. I know, I know there's Disneyland Paris. I know there's Disneyland, of course, in, uh, was it America, California? Didn't know, didn't know there was a Disneyland in Japan, but makes sense, makes perfect sense that there is. Uh, one of your buddies works for Sony. Or is it the best one in the world, according to visitors? Oh, okay. Yeah, the only one I've been to is Disneyland uh, Paris. I've never been to the other ones. And that was back when I was... God, how old was I then? 21, and it was like part of a school trip. That was pretty memorable. I remember seeing like, all the parades and stuff like that. That was uh, really cool. I wish I had like a yeah camera at that time, but... I don't know. I was just like young, just sort of absorbing everything. I was I wasn't really much of a photographer back then, but yeah, there were a lot of other students who were uh, big on that. Yeah, it was um oh, I don't know if the place still exists now. This it was in uh, Northwest Kent College. I try to remember how long the school at school uh, break was. It's like uh, I think it was like a week and a half. Oh, he's got Pierre's got another clue to find the cowrie shell. If you want isolation, <laughs> don't we all want isolation? Only some, uh, only some six of the isle in this Indian Ocean country are inhabited. I think mean, I think mean, everyone's like clocked onto this stage that I'm just going where I want to go. Um. Pierre is in Kampala, Uganda, with mountains reaching to over 16,000 feet. This is another country tilting itself, the Switzerland of Africa. Winston Churchill called it his Pearl of Africa prior to, his, to its gaining independence from the British in 1962. East of this Six Hills capital is Owens Fall Dam near Lake Victoria. Was that you were living by yourself when you were 15? Really hot, really sick. So I should call you by your first name. It's very doxing. Um, was that by choice or um, was that? I don't want to get too much into it. It says press any key to uh, continue, but we didn't press anything. It just, if you leave it for a while, it just like disappears from the screen. Uh, okay. So, oh, here we go. Shanghai, China, South Korea. Just, I wish there was another way to use it. Um, using the mouse is very sort of sensitive. <laughs> Is that a fact? Kicked out for climbing a drain pipe to get to your bedroom. Oh, okay. At half twelve. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you you would have thought that they'd be impressed by your uh, athleticism, unless you fell down and went to hospital. That could be a thing. Uh, we'll go to ooh, Homo, Homolulu. Place rings a bell actually, Homolulu. Was that one of the places where Carl Pilkington went to? Just just that name. I like to think that Pierre has successfully collected all these items and has come back you know, ready to rub it in our face, only to realise that we've like, um, we just like buggered off to Japan just to check out Disneyland. And now we're in the USA to probably to go in the Disneyland on that one, wasn't it? <laughs> just, just check out all the Disneylands. Uh, go by a boat southwest from India and Sri Lanka to get here. Yeah, this, so again, I, I say this, um, you probably need to be heavy on your knowledge of geography 
to enjoy this one so we're just making the most of uh well my lack of information of all things geography related but it is fun to sort of read all this stuff definitely a different experience take binoculars to find it hmm. uh what have we got here very simple illustration of usa flag you reckon he's cheating i don't know I'm glad I'm glad we did put in Pierre into the mix. It's sort of like it just mixes it up a bit. Uh Honolulu is the crossroads of the Pacific, situated on the island of Oahu. The city is famed for its diamond head and a Waikiki. Oh, I wonder if there's a is a Waikikipedia. Uh, beach. The Arizona Memorial honors those who died in the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Charles Langberg is buried on Moai. Moai Loa reach, uh, reaches to 13,080 feet on Hawaii. Oh, there's another clue. The capital is on a one square mile atoll. You can walk it in less than an hour. What have we got here? Pierre is in Kangali, Rwanda. This land of eternal spring is where Diane Fossey studied mountain gorillas. The great gorillas live in a chain of seven volcanoes, one of the most stunning sites in Africa, along the borders of Zaya and Uganda. Uh, from Kigali, also see the rare pangolin, a scaly ant anteater. <laughs> I'm thinking pangolin. I'm thinking of like um. That, didn't didn't Mr. Weeble do an animation on pangolins? I'm sure he did. A scaly anteater and lake. Kivu. Uh, where have we got to now? Western Samoa. Oh, trouble brewing in Typhoon Territory just ahead. Been to Tokyo before. Oh, <laughs> well, go on then, let's check out Vancouver. Well, okay, going to dox myself a bit here. This is my birthplace. So here we go. And I know very little about it because I only lived there for about a year and a bit. And yeah, don't really know much else. Uh, here we go. The so there we go. Vancouver, Canada. Early Indians fished for salmon and whale here, and created totem poles, talismans for protection and good luck. Today, Vancouver has a gorgeous ocean and mountain setting, with the second largest Chinese quarter in North America. Sky, skyride, beautiful parks, gardens, and a famed aquarium. <laughs> You've been born in India? <laughs> no, no, no. We're born in we're born in Canada. That that would be more interesting, to be honest. <laughs> Cheers, Bob. Ooh, where's he going? He's going to Central African Republic. Ooh, come on. Lightning, strike him down. Damn it. He lives. Pierre's found another clue. This country's Teke tribe members 
There's not much information here. This country's Teke tribe members make booty and male charm fig figures stuffed with magical substances. You can't just leave it at magical. Well, like, what kind of substances are they? What sort of magical substances? Well, that parents deserted him was found by a pair of hippies. Yeah, that sounds accurate. <laughs> I, I, I kind of want the game now to give me that information. <laughs> this was the, the, the location of Bobby Zill, where he was abandoned, but two hippies found him. I was like, ah, oh, interesting. Oh, here we go. That's a bit more information. Uh, Prosperous Bangwai is an enclave in this mostly uninhabited country. It gets its name from the Bangui of Wi uh, River, in which this city is located. You can see Pagon dugout canoe races on the on the river. Uh, the Barthlemy Baganda monument dedicated to a political hero. Is there such a thing? And hippos right in town. Oh, so he's probably found something because there was hippos mentioned earlier on, wasn't there? As part of a clue. <laughs> Mind you, so you see plenty of hippos in uh, uh, Scotland and America. And England, of course. Ooh, Chicago. Honolulu, we have been through. Los Angeles. I kind of want to go to Chicago. And if they don't mention anything about pizza, I will be disappointed. Oh, how, did, how on earth did we score 10 points? I just noticed our score went up from 5 to 10. How did that happen? Oh, we found three bonus tickets as well. Were they in our pizza box? Uh, great, I guess. Here we go. Chicago, USA. Chicago is the site of the world's tallest building, the Sears Tower. In fact, the first skyscrapers were built here. This city is a veritable outdoor museum. Downtown plazas feature sculptures by Picasso, uh, Chago, Calder, and Miro. Uh, no, Picasso, not the other ones. I don't think. Uh, the Brookfield Zoo was first to have natural, naturalistic displays, but no mention of pizza or gangsters, because I am <laughs> simple-minded, I guess. <laughs> the plot of hair was influenced by but yes. <laughs> Where's Pierre going to now? Brazzaville, Congo. Oh, he found the beauty. Now being carefully and in the plane for safekeeping. Oh, okay, so those are the, uh, excuse me, the figures with the magical power. Is there a way to <laughs> steal the box? <laughs> Just like kill Pierre and take the box. box. Oof. Oh, that was nice. That box, that briefcase just bounced off his head. Some very cool animation there. Music's questionable. Let's have a look. Uh, Pierre is in Brazzaville, Congo. This elegant green capital was occupied by de Gaulle in World War II and served as the capital of Free France. Its quiet charm is a sharp contrast to the skyscrapers of Kinshasa, Zier just on the other side of the river. The Beliskia of Saint Anne is a mix of European and African styles. Okay, where are we venturing to now? 
were the choices. Oh, Toronto, Canada. Vancouver, we've been to. Hmm, have we been to Los Angeles, San Antonio? Or the Bahamas? Shall we check out the Bahamas? Let's check out the Bahamas. Uh, what does it say about the Bahamas? Oh, this is this word again. Hang on a moment. Let's scroll up. How is it pronounced? Ar archipelago. The Bahamas archipelago consists of 700 islands stretching from near Hati to within 50 miles of Florida. Nassau City Library used to be a used to be a jail. Books are shelved in the cells. 50 trained 50 trained flamingos at the zoo obey drill commands. I did not know about that. Uh, see the governor's mansion and the statue of Columbus. 50 trained flamingos at the zoo obey drill commands. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if that's still a thing. Of course, we're nowhere near our objective, but hey, at least we know about uh, drill-instructed flamingos. Okay, Pierre has found a clue to help you f to help him find the ore from how 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 was that pronounced again? Diagi or Diagi? Uh, this European capital's busy harbor was a strategic Allied naval base in World War Two. So these African islands are just north of the equator, about 200 miles west of Gabon. The Portuguese arrived in 1471 and made them penal colonies for prisoners and exiled Jews. Our Lady of Grace Cathedral is in the capital Sayotum. Remnants of extinct volcanoes rise straight up like pillars here. Okay, so we are currently in the Bahamas. Where do we want to go now? Uh, Port of, was that Port of Prince, Haiti? Kingston, oh, in Jamaica. Got to check out a place in Jamaica. Cuba, back to USA. Uh, oh, Washington. We might actually check out Washington. There we go. Right, so the seat of the place where uh, Biden and Trump argue all the time. No, that's not true. Uh, the seat of American government, Washington, D.C., has the original Declaration of Independence, Constitution, and Bill of Rights in the National Archives. The huge 10-ton doors on the Capitol building depict scenes from Columbus life. The Washington Monument sinks six inches annually. Okay, I do apologise. My my yeah, Freud voice was just getting a bit raspy. Um, just need to hydrate a bit. So Pierre, you swine, you found three bonus tickets. How dare you? Uh, where is he now? Uh, Libreville in Gabon. 
This former French colony is bisected by the equator and is one of the few places... Sorry, have I got this on? Yeah. One of the few places you still find lowland gorillas. Oh, we mentioned in man mountain gorillas before. Now it's lowland gorillas. Libreville, a port, was founded as a colony for freed, uh, freed slaves. The statue of Ma here honours the 1960 independence leader, Albert Schreister lived and worked a hundred miles south. Honestly, I'll say this much. We're 50 minutes into the game, so not too long to go. I think it would have benefited from bigger graphics. I feel like, you know, we needed a little bit more eye candy on some of the locations. And, you know, if it needed to be two or three discs to do that, so be it. Other than that, it's a game that's going to be really good if you're really heavy into geography. Even though I'm not, I still find it quite fascinating to check out all these different locations. It's, uh, yeah, definitely not what I expected. But then again, I don't think anyone expected anything like this. Unless, of course, they've played this one quite frequently. So this one was probably on Amiga Live a couple of times as well, I'm guessing. Where are we going to go next? Oh, Chicago has a storm warning, but we've already been there. Uh, this looks like a big journey. Wait, can we actually go there? Uh, Canada and Ottawa. Ooh, go on then. So we go all the way to Iceland. Rekav uh, what's that called? Rekavik? Rekavik? This is how Pan should have played out. Like, instead of just like automatically traveling to different countries. Is that how it's pronounced? Reykjavik. Um, you should, you should go to each like destination manually and then like, just like stop for snacks and go into a hotel before you finally go to the destination and then you attack the giant balls. <laughs> Pan should have been like this. It really should have. Um, what we've got here. So Reykjavik, Iceland. Icelandic citizens, uh, sorry, say that again. Uh, Icelandic citizens claim that Vikings, who fell in love with this sunny green country, gave it its name in order to discourage visitors. Its parliament, which convenes in Reykjavik's uh, 19th century parliament building, is the oldest in the world. This is the northernmost capital. Oh, really? It's when that person knocked himself out. And yet, <laughs> that would be cool if it showcased that. You should be able to edit the details so we could change it to that. People are like, who's this person? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna dox me and you to a lesser degree. No one else, <laughs> unless they want to. Uh, where are we now? Bangwai Cent Oh, what? this is Pierre's location. Central African Republic. Prosperous Bangwai is an enclave in its mostly uninhabited country. Oh, I think we've... Um, yeah, sorry, we re we've read this bit, haven't we? I think. Zipporo, do yeah, dugout, okay. Yeah, okay. If it's not the same description, it's a very similar one. Yeah, Rakovic. Okay, so that's where we were. Where shall we go now? Can we actually go to Britain? <gasps> Close enough, I guess. Edinburgh, Scotland. I mean, sure, why not? Dublin, Ireland. There we go. Edinburgh, Scotland. Here we go. Edinburgh, Scotland, built on top of a long... I'm not going to do a Scottish accent because I, I, I still want viewership on this channel. Uh, built on top of a long dead volcano, Edinburgh is divided into Old Town, surrounding Edinburgh... 
uh, Edinburgh Castle and Newtown, which cities, which city fathers, which city fathers began building in the 18th century. Most of the city's famous distilling industry is near the Port Leith, our life, Scotland and England share a parliament. Also, kind of disappointed. I was expecting like Scottish bagpipes to be played when it was like mentioning that area. Disappointed, but still. Uh, mountain gorillas. Oh, yes, 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 in the back of the Yep. We've seen this description before. Only four more minutes to go before we wrap things up, so we better make this. This will have to be our last location. Copenhagen, Denmark. I suppose we better go all the way back to London. Why not? Not that we started in London, but uh, yeah, we certainly ended up here. Go on then. London, England. Good old classic London, England. Yeah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Good old, uh, good old Big Ben. Um... Nearly everything of interest in London is on or near the Thames uh, River. The historic houses of Parliament with Big Ben towering overhead, 10 Downing Street, New Scotland Lard, uh, Lard, my God, that was a misspelling and a half, New Scotland Yard, Westminster Abbey, whose poet's corner contains the tombs of uh, Chaucer, Tennyson and Browning, and of course, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> New Scotland Lord, I'm never going to forgive myself for that one. Oh, <laughs> meanwhile, um, <laughs> Pierre has scored 85. I think he's just flexing there. Uh, in, in Tanzania, you'll find Africa's tallest mountain, Kilimanjaro, the world's largest game preserve, uh, Silius, the continent's largest freshwater lake, Victoria, Zanzibar, island of sensations, the Serengeti, the capital, Dar es Salaam, and the spot where Livingstone met Stanley. Have we got enough? A couple of minutes to go, have we got enough time to venture another location? What have we got here? Oh, Paris? Oh, go on then. Yeah, Paris, Paris. Gotta be Paris, Paris. There we go. Let's see what it has to say about Paris. Paris, France. Names alone just about say it all for this city. Voltaire, Russell, Victor Hugo... Emil Zola, Napoleon, Chopin, Oscar Wilde, and Sarah Bernhardt were all buried here. Also see Rodin's The Thinker. Oh, that's referring to the statue, isn't it? And Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Not to mention the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower is slightly important. Built of 7,000 tons of iron in 1889. Yeah, did I pronounce, did I mispronounce, is it shopping? Is it like a soft C? Chopping. Chopin. Is it Chopin? Chopin. Oh. You've returned one item for credit. We must examine the contents to determine the damage before bonus points can be awarded. You've been careful and therefore own and therefore Pierre's got 488 points. Well, you're just flexing, Pierre. Oh. Oh right, okay, there we go. The following bonus item has been hidden somewhere in the world. 
Seat cushion from a bed boat? Okay. Well, I don't care about Pierre anymore. Uh, oh, the hour is up. What would, would have what would have been our final location? Bordeaux, France, Quebec. I think we're out of time. Oh, Belgium. Go on then. Let's very quickly check out Belgium. Would it mention chocolate? Maybe. Uh oh! Wow, that's uh. That's its showcase. Is that? Can we even see that? Is that even in terms of service? I'm quite worried now. Brussels is quite a pleasant mix of cobbled streets and steel and glass towers. It is famous for its sweets. Oh, there you go. Sweets from handmade lace, as well as the mannequin. Oh, there we go. The mannequin the pea fountain. The statue is known as Brussels' oldest citizen. Victor Hugo wrote contemplations above a chocolate shop there so it does, it does kind of cool actually mention so there you go that's what belgium's for chocolates and a boy pin <laughs> make of that what you will uh thanks a lot for the ggs and uh yeah that wraps it up for this game it is time to move on